Dear student and parent, welcome to the Test Prep Card channel. This video is going to be about a topic which will be of great interest to the students. What are the easiest IB subjects to score a seven band? And I will be running you through all of these aspects which you will find humongously useful. Now, that glorious seven, not an easy feat, but not a Herculean task as well, with adequate preparation and the right knowledge, like understanding what are the easiest IB subjects. I don't say it will be a cakewalk, but it definitely will be a lot easier. So in this video, I will be referring to these subjects where you can get a seven marked by group and based on the IBO statistics. So it's not that I am just speaking something, it is based on pure data. So the ratings that I will be referring to were based on the percentage of people that got a seven in these classes. Please consider that although the subjects which I will be talking about are generally easy, every individual has different strengths and weaknesses. Now you need to gauge what are your strengths and weaknesses. What are your gray areas? That means what may be easier for many might be the hardest for you and vice versa. We start with group one, language A1. Everyone in the United States has to take the English and or literature, which is not very easy. In fact, English is the hardest throughout the world with a rate of sevens averaging around 6%. However, if you're bilingual, like most of us ESL people are, and you have attended international schools, you would have higher chances of scoring the perfect seven. Amongst the highest are Asian languages with Chinese, Korean and Japanese having the highest percentage of sevens with a combined average of 25%. Next group two, language B and A2. Again, this one can be straightforward if you are international. For example, students of Chinese or Spanish background should opt for Mandarin or Spanish B respectively. However, if you are like, like the rest of us, then although Portuguese, Greek, Nepali all have over 70% of sevens, we understand that those are not very common languages. Among the three most common language B subjects, Spanish, French, and German. Spanish takes the win with over 30% of HL students and 13% of SL students getting a seven man. Group three, the individuals and societies. In group three, there are many generally easy subjects with a generally low level of sevens. However, one stands out with the highest percentage of sevens, and that is economics. Economics has the highest rate of students achieving sevens in standard level and the higher level, with 10% and 15% respectively. Group four is experimental sciences. Now, Science is not everyone's cup of tea. Science is difficult. We get that. And ranking sciences by difficulty can become very subjective. So, you know, I will be sticking to hard facts. Although many consider biology to be generally the easiest class amongst the three, however, rote memory involved for testing makes it actually the hardest of three to get a seven. If you're aiming for a seven, however, then physics is the way to go. Physics has over 23% of students earning a seven on HL and 12% for SL. Group five is mathematics. 
math is pretty straightforward. Your internal assessments, your SL is the easiest. Moving up to AA, whereas HL as the hardest. Hence, students weak at math should choose the internal assessment SL level of math. However, from a statistical point of view, further math HL has the highest sevens with 35%. That's humongous. That's probably because they're all geniuses again. And math is all about practice, guys and girls. Set your pen to paper, achieve your goal. Group six is arts. This group is considered controversial or rather optional and is up to your interests and passion. However, from a statistical standpoint, IB Theatre has the highest percentage of sevens with 26% for HL and 18% for SL. And all you 21st century kids being media savvy, you now have to nail this. Hope you found the video useful. In case you have any further doubts or clarification, do comment in the comment section below. Do subscribe to the Test Prep Card channel. See you soon.